Hey guys, me David. It's uh, 10, 19, 20, 21. So I took down all those videos. I, I, I gotta make this into a positive channel. I'm sorry for my negativity. Um, you know, sometimes you get too much time on your hands and you think about things and, you know, and it's probably the weapons too, you know, giving you obsessive thinking. Uh, you know, maybe we're all just all being manipulated really bad and, and they are putting um, many, many thoughts into us and maybe that's why everyone's on a different page and all this stuff. Um, anyway, I'll tell you what happened today, you know, so I was bringing Max back to the house and we were going up the stairs and I seen this guy in the truck and he honks. I'm like, who's that? I don't know who that guy is, you know? And I look and I look and I'm like, is that Anderson? And he's like, yeah. Um, my friend from, I haven't seen him in over 20 years, my childhood friend. I mean, we were friends in, um, grade school, you know, hanging out and all through, uh, junior high and high school and everything else. And, um, you know, we were hanging out to, until probably until we we're 27, 28 years old. I haven't seen him in 20 years. Um, so he stopped by just by chance, I guess. Um. So it was nice to see him, you know, I haven't seen him in over 20 years, I haven't seen, I, I haven't seen my brothers in four years, you know, and they live right in town, you know, I gotta get out there too, but, um, so we were BSing a, a little bit, and, and, uh, you know, might get together someday and do something, and, um, uh, um, you know, he was validating their technology, <laughs> um, it sounds crazy, but he was. Um, he was doing that to the side of his leg. Uh, you know, tapping the side of his leg. And they always, you know, my other friend too came down here and he was going to buy my car and all this stuff. And uh, he was tapping his foot on the on the porch when they put thoughts in my head and all this stuff. So I don't know if they're, if, if they're seeing the thoughts they're putting in my head. I don't know if they're putting it in their head too. Or if they're just telling them on the tap, you know. All my friends get um, V2K, or you know, all the all my perps get V2K. My friends, whatever, um, they get V2K to tell them what to do and all this stuff. So it's a mystery, but uh, we had a nice little visit anyway. He's, you know, we were talking about all our friends from, uh, you know, back in the day and all this stuff, and our childhood friends and all this stuff, and um, you know, because I haven't caught, I haven't, I, I haven't seen anybody since 2012 you know and and I started getting they started telling me I was in the program in about 2014 so we're you know we're going on six seven years of this and I, I've been isolated you know I, I mean I, I hang out with my family members you know my sister and, and I I haven't seen my brother in four years but I did see him here and there a little bit and he'd come out and BS with me and and stuff but um you know, you really lose touch with people, um, but I think they contacted him and, and told him to stop by and, and stuff, and they were validating and all this stuff. Um, uh, it's something they do. They, in my program, they always get um, a hold of people from my past. Um, they, well, you know, past supervisors, um, uh, past co-workers, um, they're not just in my neighborhood, random, you know, they, they don't even live around here, you know, uh, you know, and stuff, so, um, it's just something they do in my program, it's, you know, when I was in the fake psych ward, they had my fourth grade teacher in there, you know, he was an old man and stuff, but he was in there for, for a few hours, you know, and stuff, and, um, and they wanted to let me know it was him, because they were like, Mr. Hill, do you need this, Mr. Hill, do you need that? You know, so they always get people from my past um, involved. Um, so it's amazing. I don't know what they're telling these people because, um, you know, maybe they give them 50 bucks or something to play a part in this. Um, everyone knows I'm in something, some kind of program or something. I don't know what they're telling them. Uh, I'm sure they're telling them, like, he knows, he knows. You know, he knows what's going on and stuff. But... Um, so I was really surprised because he didn't start validating until the end of our conversation, you know, because he's like, I, I got to go home and clean my garage out and stuff like that. And he, and he was sitting there tapping, you know, because I thought, yeah, and he, I thought maybe he wasn't involved, you know, 
But then they let me know they're involved. They always do something to let me know they're involved. And he, he was tapping tapping the side of his hip uh, when they were putting thoughts in my head and stuff. So uh, he was involved, just like my other my other friend was involved. Um, you know, my brothers are involved. They, uh, they validate all the time when they're around, um, you know, and stuff. So... It's I can't get around that, um, but I would like to go see my friends, you know, go out and do something, uh, even if they're perping me, you know what I mean? It, it would be the same way if I if I dated a girl, um, it would be the same way. She would be a perp. She would be, uh, they would turn her into a perp if I found someone who wasn't. Um, they would turn her into a perp, and she'd be validating and all this stuff. She wouldn't be mean to me or anything, but. You know, I mean, they're not mean to me, but they do validate their technology all the time, verify their technology um, by tapping or, you know, tapping their hip or tapping the foot on the porch or, you know, I mean, you know, I'm not being paranoid. It's, it's, um, they do get them involved. It's, you know, all of a sudden you're talking to your buddy and he starts tapping his foot when they put thoughts in my head, you know. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize what's going on. Um, and stuff, but, um, so anyway, we had a nice little visit, I was, I, you know, he was talking about, um, a, a couple other, a few of our other friends that, um, I haven't seen in over 20 years, you know, and stuff, um, so that was that, but I'll tell you what happened afterwards, um, they were trying to make me go to the bathroom when I was out there talking to him, you know, and I'm glad he left because I, I had to run in and sit on the toilet. Um, they were just being jerks. Um, I got nailed. I got nailed. Nailed. After he left, I got nailed. They nailed me. They were nailing me with all kinds of frequencies. Um, well, not all kinds, but this this one frequency that... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's it it, it makes you it makes you feel sick to your stomach. My whole body just felt sick, you know. And then they were making my stomach. They can give you cramps, you guys. You know, like like it make you feel like you have to go to the bathroom. Um, they can make you go to the bathroom if they want to, you know. So they made me sit on the toilet like five six times within like an hour. I mean, my butt was just raw, you know. They nailed me after he left. I got nailed for like two or three hours after he left. And um, they were trying to make me throw up too. I, I'm sitting there, sitting on the toilet and they can make your, make it, they can make you throw up. You know, the, the, the guy was, you know, they were, or these people were making me throw up a little bit, you know. Um, and they were just, they were just nailing me, the, the urge to throw up and then, you know, sitting on the toilet and all this stuff, it all, they hit me all at once and nailed me, and I felt so sick, I, I just, I don't know what they were hitting me with, I, I felt it in my head and throughout my whole body, and I felt just sick, just sick, you know, and I'm like, what are you, what are you gonna do, are you gonna send me to the hospital, I mean, what are you gonna do, you know, they're, when I get nailed, I get nailed, you know, where I'm almost calling for help, I mean, I felt so sick, so sick, you know, that uh, I was ready to call for help, you know. They they nailed me. They nailed me for like two or three hours, and then I, I tried laying down a couple times and all this stuff. And they don't let you sleep, of course. But yeah, so I got nailed today. So um, I don't know what they're punishing me for for seeing my friend, or, or I don't know what they were doing. But so I just thought I would tell you guys that about that. Um, I'm gonna cut this off. Do a short little video. It's an early video and stuff. And um. I'll keep my channel positive from now on, I, you know, um, you know, I just, I just want this to end, and I wanna, I, I you know, um, and we gotta be credible, that's, that's all I'm gonna say, you know, but, um, anyway, I'm gonna cut this off, you guys have a good night, and I'll talk to you later.